If we have a cellulose sample and it's in a pure form, then we should expect to see two peaks, one corresponding to a carbon bonded to oxygen with a single bond, and then another where the carbon is bonded to oxygen on two sides via a single bond. So what we should expect to see is a chemical shift, and we should also expect to see five times as many carbon that are bonded in a single bond to oxygen as an environment where carbon is bonded to oxygen on either side by single bonds. So when we look at a spectrum, we should expect to see for the carbon-1s one peak that's about five times the size of another peak, and we should only see two peaks. However, in this case, we can see three peaks. And so we expect that this third peak is probably a contamination, or at very least, it is some kind of CH-type peak that is associated with this cellulose sample, even if it's an impurity. So what we'll do now is calibrate the binding energy scale and see if we have a consistent binding energy scale with cellulose, where we assume that this peak must be a C single bond O, and this one is a carbon peak that is singly bonded to two oxygen peaks. So we'll go to the calibration property page, and if this is a CH type peak, then we'll assign 285 as the binding energy, and we need to indicate the position that we expect for this peak. So this is just a rough calculation, so I'm going to use the cursor, and when I click, you can see that a value has been updated in the measured field, and this gives us a difference in energy that can calculate an offset that would be required to position this peak at about 285 EV. And this can be achieved using the apply button, and the apply button applies to the spectrum in the active tile. But if we have other measurements that were performed at the same time, such as this survey, oxygen, nitrogen, then these two can be calibrated using the same offset if we say apply to a selection. So given that these are three independent measurements, each one potentially in its own charge compensation state, we need to calibrate based on a row-by-row -row basis. So these are all measured at the same time, and we need to calibrate them as if they were independent. So we can do this by saying apply to selection. And once we've performed this operation, we now have the small peak here is at about 285 subject to where the cursor is placed. We have another peak here that's about 286.7 and a peak here that is 288. Now these two peaks are consistent with a single bond O and a carbon between two oxygen bonded with single bonds. So these are consistent with cellulose and this peak here looks like it could well be a CH-type peak by virtue of its position relative to these two peaks.